tip for furnishing a HMO, I do get asked nearly every day by uh, landlord investors, is um, that they ask what, uh, what simple question, what, what size bed shall I use? And fundamentally, HMOs are for single occupancy. Oh, don't get me wrong, some are double occupancy, fine. If that's what you want to promote, you think those dynamics will work in the HMO, great. But 99% of the time, the single occupancy. Where are you going to put a four foot six bed in there? Put a four foot bed in there. You can't, even I can't tell from looking, you know, from a certain angle whether it's a four foot or a four foot six. But most importantly, it discourages people moving partners in full time. Fine for a night, but not fine for permanent basis. And it makes the rooms look bigger. A lot of HMO rooms aren't massive. They're on the borderline of the threshold. Do yourself a favour, use a four foot bed. People sometimes also believe that there's not much bedding options for a four foot. Four foot six bedding works fine. It's six inches, but it does make a lot of difference. Oh, 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 o